presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. It's Roberto Clemente Day throughout Major League Baseball. A little matinee affair for the Angels and the Oakland A's here at the Coliseum. The Angels looking to bounce back after a tough loss yesterday, thus setting up the rubber game of the series this afternoon. We welcome you inside the Coliseum and back to Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West. He's Mark Gubiza. I'm Victor Rojas. And while the Angels offense was stymied a little bit last night by Zach Neal and, of course, Ryan Madsen, who closed it out, the Angels offense overall on the road trip, Gooby, has been fantastic. Victor, the approaches have been unbelievable. Take a look at our tools of the trade brought to you by Ram Trucks. 34 runs scored by the Angels in these first five games of this six-game road trip. Why? Because they've been used in the middle of the field. They've been doing with power. They've been able to drive the ball to all fields out of the ballpark. Situational hitting very, very good. As it Paul... Sorrento and Dave Hansen have preached, used the middle of the field, better opportunity to get some hits, got to let the baseball travel, and they have swung the bats exceptionally well. Hopefully we'll do so today here in Oakland. All right, on the pitching side of things, Ricky Nolasco, of course, unfortunately picked up the loss yesterday, but Alex Meyer, who came over with Ricky in the trade for Hector Santiago, gets a start today. Victor, really looking forward to seeing him pitch. He's got an excellent plus fastball, 92 to 98 mile an hour, two seam, four seam fastball, six foot nine, creates a great downward leverage on his pitches, secondary pitches getting there he's healthy now if he pounds that strike zone as well as he can this should be a fun game here this afternoon see if the halos can pick up the victory before starting a 10 game homestand on friday we're just about ready for baseball in the bay area sit back relax lineups and first pitch when we return this telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Hyundai. Great deals on amazing cars are going on now at your Hyundai dealer. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Buy Jack in the Box. Taste the all-new Brewhouse Bacon Burger today for limited time only at participating restaurants. Buy your Southern California Toyota dealers. Buy Mercury Insurance on a mission to save you money. Log on to mercuryinsurance.com to get a fast free quote and see how much you can save. And buy the Jeep Renegade. Find your inner renegade and reach your highest potential with an EPA estimated 31 highway miles per gallon.
Coliseum, the third and final game between the Angels and the Oakland A's in this series. The Halos taking the opener on uh, Monday on Labor Day. And then, of course, dropping last night by the final of 3-2. to two, Looking for a victory here this afternoon before returning home. Here's a line of Mike Sosha's running out today. The Angels at 62-76. and 76. We'll have Andrelton Simmons leading things off playing short. Cole Calhoun will DH today. T.J. Crone at first base. Jeffrey Marte at third base. Jet Bandy behind the plate. Caleb Coward is at second base. Nick Buss in left. Shane Robinson in center. Rafael Ortega batting ninth and playing right field. So no Mike Trout. No Albert Pujols as they take on the 24-year-old right-hander native of St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, making his major league debut. It's Jarrell Cotton. And Cotton's fastball is 90-95. Changeup, a plus changeup, curveball, and a slider. My go-to's, though, to be successful against him is be aware of that changeup. He likes to throw it, and it's a very good one. And don't let him settle in, especially as a youngster early on. The butterfly's going. Don't let him settle in, because once he does, does have that sneaky fastball to go along with this changeup. Let's take a look at the defense for Oakland this afternoon. Smolenski in left today. Eibner in center. Muncie in right. The infield with Healy, Semien, Wendell, and Alonzo. That's remained the same through all three games. And a vote behind the plate. And Healy over at third base has started 49 in the last 50 games at third base. Has committed seven hours. Also has turned four double plays. Has a strong, strong throwing arm for that third base position. Angleton Simmons hitting 283 with a home run and 33 runs batted in, leading things off. The first pitch of Drill Cotton's big league career is fouled off. It's an 0 1 count. First pitch, 12 37. Cotton acquired from the Los Angeles Dodgers along with two other pitchers. In exchange for Rich Hill and Josh Reddick. A 20th round pick of the Dodgers a couple of years ago. Eastern Carolina University. That's down low. One ball, one strike. Triple A this year between Oklahoma City and Nashville, 11 and 6 with a 4.31 ERA. They pitched six games at Nashville for Oakland. Getting the call today to make his major league debut. 1 1. That is line to left. Jake Smolinski's there. One down. Hyundai key for this game for the Angels to be successful against Cotton. A little Green Day, local band from up here in the Bay Area. Boulevard, a broken dream, especially your opportunity, your first major Riding league game. It's going to be important now for the offense to put some pressure on him early on before, like I said, before he settles in. What is assortment of all speed pitch, especially his change up and slider. It'll be very difficult to see as the game progresses. Cole de-aging today with Trout and Pujols getting the afternoon off. Has been the leadoff spot the last couple of days with Escobar out of the lineup. Calhoun 0 for 4 in yesterday's game. Takes a strike. 268 batting average for Cole. 16 home runs, 65 RBIs. Shift on with three infielders on the right side. This one's out towards shallow left field. Smolinski comes in, dives, and did he catch it? He did, according to the second base umpire, Vic Carapaza, two down. I'm sure Mike Sosha is going to have Dino Evil look in there with Steve Solis to see if he trapped it. Looked like he got it. Got the glove underneath it, keeps that ball secure in his body and glove. Yep. Even at this angle right here, you're going to see nice play by Smolinski. As long as it doesn't touch the ground. It's tough to tell there, but it looked like he... Uh, was able to do that. Mike Sosha's still looking in there. Looked like they were, he was able to secure it. Now you better make sure that that ball hit the ground. And they are going to challenge it. There must be another angle besides the one we're seeing there where it looked like he was able to keep that body. Ball's in the heel of the glove. There's a little separation there, but he looked like he got his hand Pretty underneath. That's going to be very difficult to overturn that one. There's a little separation there, the glove and the baseball. Which is fine, again, if it's up on the arm and up against the yeah, chest. It looks like he then he gets his hand underneath there to secure it. Right after there, there's movement. It'll be a tough one. I mean, it doesn't look like the ball's touching the ground there. I, mean, I think it should uh, I think it should hold up. We'll see what they decide. If the Angels lose this challenge, of course, they're out of challenges the rest of the game. Well, Smolinski made some good plays in center field yeah. last night, covering a lot of ground.
Ruling on the field is out on the catch. Vic Carapazzo, the second base umpire, going out there and making the call. The Angels challenging it. See, right there once again. There's a little movement in the baseball. Did it hit the ground or did they secure it on his body? That's what it looks like he did. And then that bare hand was right there. Taking a little while to take a look at it. Two other games that are three other games currently being played. Baltimore, Tampa, Detroit, and Chicago, and the Mets in Cincinnati. Headsets are off, and the Angels are out of challenges. Two outs. The ruling on the field has been confirmed. The call stands, which means not stands. enough evidence to uh, overturn it. Yep. That's what we were thinking the same thing. Yep. Yeah, unless you unless you for now sure see that ball to touch the ground in that instance there. Tough play to, to overturn. Yeah, it wasn't completely secured in the glove, but it looked like he was able to do so with his body. So two outs, nobody on. Here's C.J. Crow. C.J. had his 12-game hitting streak snapped yesterday going over for 4 as he cuts through the first one. Going to 286 with 15 home runs, 61 RBIs. Off-speed pitch. Is that change if you're yeah, talking about? Real good one. It'll throw his, his slider is almost like a cut fastball. Also has a very good overhand curveball. Throw another one. A one-two count. Pardon me, oh, two count. Crone batting in at number three spot just for the second time this year. No pool holes in the lineup. Pretty good differential in the speed of his fastball and the changeup. Fastball has been 93. Changeup at 78. Now it's a one-two count. And always the advantage for a pitcher. At least the first time through a lineup when you have not seen him before as a hitter. As you can see right there, just not, not knowing his patterns. And, and no matter how well you're thrown as a pitcher, you always fall into certain patterns where as a hitter, you can look for a certain pitch in the count. At their back-to-back-to-back change-ups late on a fastball for C.J. Crone against Cotton. Even up the count of two balls, two strikes, a couple of fly balls to left field to start the game. And those three games better than the Oakland days as far as the division is concerned, even with the loss last night. 2 2 lifted out to left field. Not very deep. Smolinski with a long run. Busy in the top of the first. Records all three outs. We head to the bottom of the first. Alex Meyer making his Angels debut. A scoreless time.
Bob Melvin's Oakland Athletics starting lineup at 59 and 79. They will have Jake Smolinski leading things off once again. He is in left field. Marcus Semien is a shortstop. Steven Vogt behind the plate. Chris Davis, it's a quasi day off. He'll serve as a DH and clean up hitter. Yonder Alonso at first. Ryan Healy at third. Max Muncy out in right field. Brett Eibner at center. And it's Joey Wendell at a big two RBI single last night. Helping the A's victory. Will bat ninth and play second base. Alex Meyer making his Angels debut. He's 26 years of age. Native of Greensburg, Indiana, and he is a tall drink of water. Yeah, good fastball, too. 92 98 curveball, knuckle curved slider, changeup. My go to is to be successful is slow the game down, take that deep breath and control. Fastball command, very important for Alex Myers. First one down and in. Coming over with Ricky Nolasco from the Minnesota Twins in exchange for Hector Santiago. Two games, one start at the major league level. Just a total of three and two-third innings this year. This one's pulled over to third. Jeffrey Marte has it. One out. Meyer limited this year because of right shoulder inflammation. It's a nice job as far as keeping balance, especially as tall as he is. He's six foot nine on the mound. Good balance over that pitching rubber and the drive towards the plate. Let's look at his landing area. When you compare to where, see where Cotton was landing, that's about a foot and a half longer for Myers. A lot taller, but that drive towards the plate, very consistent and right towards home plate. First fastball is down and away to Marcus Semi in the shortstop. 238, 23 home runs, 56 runs batted in. You mentioned Meyer listed at 6'9, Cotton listed at 5'11. Start contrast, good sinking fastball. He's up at a ball and a strike. Meyer, first round pick in 2011 by the Washington Nationals at the University of Kentucky. Got traded in 2013. Exchange for Denard Spans. This one's out to right. Ortega puts it away for round number two. And now it's time for the driver's seat brought to you by Key. Speaking of Alex Meyer. Myers being a six foot nine pitcher, the tallest player in Angels history. Previous record six foot eight. Jeff Juden, he had a couple, five of them at six foot seven, including Mike Witt, Jared Weaver, Damon De La Rosa. Tall also. Pretty tall pitching staff here in general. They could be a pretty good frontline basketball team, this Angel Club. Like the, the operative word there is listed. <laughs> Not actual, just listed. This listed? Yeah. Now both ends of the spectrum when they're listed. Maybe a little question mark on the tall side, short side. <laughs> but vertically challenged. Yes. You're right in the middle. Yeah. This challenged. <laughs> as far as six foot, I had six <laughs> foot six. Those oh, were my your baseball words, cards. <laughs> not mine. No one to vote, tied him up. No balls, two strikes. You're what? What are you listed at? What are you? Six four? Yeah. And they have me you at six, be six six five. Yeah, they have me at six six on my baseball card though. Are you really 6'4"? I feel you're Close taller to six than five. that. Close to 6'5". Weaver's legit 6'7", though. No. Yeah. He is legit. See, I'm feeling pretty good at 6'2", until I stand next to you. <laughs> I make me feel small. In so many ways, Gooby. That's how I roll. We'll head to the second with no score.
starters with one, two, three first innings. Meyer picking up his first strikeout as an angel. And here in the second, it'll be Marte, Bandy, and Coward to get Jarrell Cott. Jeffrey Marte back at third base, hitting 265 with 12 home runs, 37 RBIs. Had the day off yesterday. We'll take upstairs. When Jeffrey you're got to start at third on the Monday, sorry, good. Yeah, if you're sitting there in the bench, you're looking at Cotton, you've seen that real good changeup. So you want to put yourself in position to put yourself in that fastball count. This could be one of them for Marte to do some damage. He was on that fastball. See him slap the bat. That's a pretty good indicator from a hitter. Just missed a pitch to drive. He was up at a ball and a strike. Cotton, the winning pitcher in the Futures game at San Diego. Face one batter. Picked up a dub piece. <laughs> Sky on the right side of the infield. Joey Wendell, the second baseman. Put it away for the first out. Hey, get your red on during Star Wars night. That's coming up on Friday at 7.05. Join us. The Angels taking on the Texas Rangers, and you can receive a Stormtrooper Rally Monkey. While supplies last, go to angels.com slash promotions to get your tickets today. And catching. Jenna, you're looking forward to that Star Wars night, aren't you? Yeah, I am. You go to dress up? We're supposed to dress up now? Me and you. Let's do it. I think you should bust out Buddy the Elf once again on Friday. Yeah, that'd be perfect. For this is Star Wars night. night. Oh, yeah. With Bandy, looks at a strike. And why wouldn't I on a Star Wars? looks so night. comfortable in oh, yeah. the garb. <laughs> Bandy back behind the plate, had the day off last night of the night. Off last night. Carlos getting the start. 260 average, eight home runs, 24 RBIs. Oh, that's a nasty changeup. <laughs> uh oh, your mind's working over there. <laughs> <laughs> Gooby Juan Kenobi. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm working on that. One ball, two strikes. I can't take credit for it. That was that came from the truck. <laughs> Sorry. Genius, though. Oh, yeah. Cotton has faced four batters. He's retired all four in his big league debut. That uh, grew up in the Virgin Islands, lived in Tortola until about the age of 16. Moved to Virginia. Kind of better his uh, baseball career. Newport News, Virginia, to be exact, with the high school there. Went to Miami Dade Community College. Been drafted by the Mets there, but then transferred to Eastern Carolina University, where the Dodgers took him in the 20th round. This one's pulled foul. Not a nice play down there. Yeah. Impressive. Didn't have to dive today. No, not today. And just casually sits back at it. That's how I do it. Man, somebody's giving us a grief down here. You didn't dive? You didn't get the uniform dirty? Great effort the other day. One, two count. Bandy fighting it off. I see where you get the uh, the remarks of Darrell Cotton looking like Tom Gordon. That was a delivery very similar. Yep, straight over the top. Yep. Tom Gordon had a great curveball. Cotton, eight plus changeup, but still a good curveball too. But the arm action, very, very similar. This is cute on the right side. I don't know how Jed actually hit that ball. Two down. Hey, fans, this broadcast of Angels Baseball is being broadcast on the AFN, the American Forces Network, broadcasting to the U.S. Armed Forces serving around the world on land and on ships at sea. We welcome you to our broadcast, and as always, thank you for your continued service. Two outs and nobody on, and it's Caleb Coward up. Caleb is starting second baseman after the start yesterday at third base. 
Went over two, but did have a sack fly. Picked up his fourth RBI. That's that little cut fastball he has. One thing very similar to Tom Gordon, Flash Gordon, was his fastball was relatively straight and was upper part of the strike zone. When you throw from that arm angle, very difficult to have sink action on a fastball. A ball would strike. But because of that arm angle, he throws it. That makes that change up that much better. But with Gordon living upstairs with the fastball, he had that 12 6 curveball. Uh, neutralizer. Yes. Especially when guys are looking fastball, and that curveball is up in that same plane, and all of a sudden it drops in. And he could throw that for a strike at any point of the count. He even asked Buddy Bell about a 3 0 curveball. He threw him with the bases <laughs> loaded, no outs. And not only a 3 0, 3 1, 3 2, th yeah. three straight. And Buddy Bell just looked back at Bob Boone, who flashes catcher, just shook his head and tipped his hat and said, Hey, I can't do anything about that. If you can throw three curveballs for strikes with the bases loaded on a 3 0 count to start with, impressive. 1 2, Coward goes swinging the bat, heads toward first. The Angels are down in order. We'll head to the bottom of the second with no score. Second inning, Mike Trout enjoying his day off. Albert Pujols also with the uh, afternoon off. Albert with a hitting streak that's still ongoing after picking up a couple of hits yesterday. The Angels will have an off day tomorrow as well at home before kicking off a 10 game homestand on Friday. Texas coming into town, followed by Seattle, and then the Toronto Blue Jays in for four, so no easy task at hand. 10 games that are upcoming at home. Chris Davis will lead things off here, gets Alex Meyer. Fastball in for a strike. Well, that's a good life on a 95 mile an hour fastball. It's a very good fastball hitter. And Chris Davis. DHing today, 252 average. It is 35th home run a couple of nights ago. 86 RBIs on the season. Overthrown slider there for Meyer. When you think about Chris Davis, we always think about that pull power he has, but he has nine opposite field home runs, which is tied for third. As far as most in the majors, you see the home run chart for Davis 14 to center field, 12 to left. So he's got very good play coverage. We saw that home run to right field first game of the series, a line drive out to right. Two balls, one strike on Davis. He'll be followed by Alonzo and then Healy. Alex with a one, two, three first. So the strike out of vote. Two and two. You can see what's enticing about the uh, the arm that Alex possesses. And the 
fact that he's just 26. He'll be 27 going into a full season next year. Just eight games, seven starts this year because of that uh, right shoulder inflammation. Foul back. Really, when you talk about uh, the workload for a college kid at the University of Kentucky when he got drafted by the Nationals, it's been somewhat of a light workload for him. The most innings he's ever thrown in a season is 130 and a third. That was in 2014. So it's still a fresh arm. Well, if he can stay healthy, it's a pretty big upside, especially with the arm angle he throws at, the movement on his fastball. Breaking ball got him looking. And what a tight slider that was on the outside corner. Davis doesn't like the call. Back to back strikeouts for Meyer. That's the first out of the second. Nice job by Bandy framing this pitch right on the outside corner, no doubt. On our Fox track, hitting that outside corner, 86 mile an hour slider. One oh count. Alonzo's the guy that started the rally for Oakland yesterday. Against Ricky Nolasco, working a four pitch walk to start the eighth inning. Three runs came across, and it's all she wrote a 3 2 win for the Athletics. After Nolasco threw the ball exceptionally well through seven. Perfect game to one point. The ball just kind of. Uh, Fell apart for him in that eighth inning. Alonzo ended up going over two. 244. Seven home runs, 45 runs batted in for the first baseman. One and two. That's a hot one today, by the way. By uh, California standards. Yes. Northern California standards. Northern California, yes. One two called strike three Alonzo knew it two outs well, that knuckle curve right there very very good from Meyer late break to it outside part of the plate keeps that front shoulder in good and then you see the late break on that pitch on the outside corner sharp break to it also. That pitch count today more than likely for Alex is going to be around 70 75 maybe up to 80 pitches. Healy the third baseman hitting 287 12 doubles six home runs. 19 runs batted in. That danger count now for a young pitcher. 2 0 count in the minor leagues. More likely, you will throw a fastball at the big league level. Very difficult to challenge hitters. 2 0 unless you hit a spot with a fastball. Three balls, no strikes. Healy with four hits in this series, two each in the first two games. Four pitch walk. First batter to reach. Well, a couple of those last two pitches could have been called strikes. Borderline to touching corner instead. A four pitch walk. So Max Muncy is up now. Muncy, the starting right fielder today. Buck 80 with a couple of home runs, seven RBIs. 41st game. Takes a strike. Ah. 
Meyer today becoming the 14th starter the Angels have used this year. The 52nd player to appear in a game. Pretty good pitch again. 96 mile an hour fastball. Count even up at one and one. First time Myers had to work from the stretch. Two one count. He's living in that bottom part or trying to live in that bottom part of the zone. Yeah, when the when the baseball's crossing the plate because he's got that late movement, these are touching the lower part of the strike zone. It's not where Bandy's catching the baseball, it's where it's crossing the front of the plate. Two one that's pulled down the right field line. It's hooking foul. Once he was looking for a fastball, got it just a little too quick. Even to count up at two balls, two strikes. Danger zone over there. With Healy going on contact. Potential of RBI. The first run of the game, but fortunately goes foul. Very short lead for Healy. Full count. Yeah, looking for a fastball there. A little cross up in the signs. That's a quick conversation to let Alex Meyer know that. CJ Crone will be playing behind Healy on a 3 2 count with two outs. Healy on the move. 3 2 in the dirt. So back to back walks with two outs here in the second. Looked like he overthrew that breaking ball that time around. So Brett Eibner will come up with two on. And two away. Ivers played in 24 games with Oakland this year. 26 games with the Royals as well. Got picked up on July 30th in exchange for Billy Burns. 200 average with five home runs, 14 runs batted in. Second round pick by Kansas City 2010. We've seen him as a defensive replacement late in the first two games. He steps up here with Healy standing at second and Muncy at first. We'll see that front shoulder's flying open just a little bit now for Alex. Mentioned the times you have to slow the game down as a young pitcher. Maintain that good balance over the pitching rubber. He has a, a deliberate motion. I imagine as a, a trigger mechanism to keep calm and slowing things down as he falls behind here 2 0. And when you're slow with your delivery to start with and you jump towards a play that really has a tendency to have that sh front shoulder fly open. So really you have to tell yourself when you're on the mound there to keep that front shoulder. It's like a hitter has to. Same thing for a pitcher. Ivner hits one to second base. Cowart's there. The inning comes to an end. We'll head to the third with no score.
up the third inning. The smart young man, smart young girl. A lot of red here is uh, every time we come up to the uh, the Coliseum. Always here. Yeah, especially on the uh, first base side. Gerald Cotton back out of the bump to start the third big league debut. He's faced six. He's retired all six, including a strikeout. Facing Buss, Robinson, and Ortega. That is seven, eight, and nine. And that is left field, center, and right. The first time the Angels have ever had a lineup that had the left fielder, center fielder, and right fielder batting in the exact same spot as their defensive number, seven, eight, nine. Very impressive. I'm done for the inning. Class is dismissed. <laughs> Nick Buss, 217 average, six doubles, a triple, a home run, and six RBIs. Nick got to start Monday. Ended up going over one, but had two sacrifice flies. Now tipped into the mid. One of two. It's funny you mentioned Tom Gordon. He made his debut 28 years ago tomorrow at the big league level for Tom Gordon. He was listed also 5 foot 10. Is that actual? He was a teammate. <laughs> I was thinking Flash is about 5'8. 5'8? 5'8, 5'9. Yeah. Good little guy. Wild man was listed at 510. <laughs> Not so much. Although he was a giant next to Freddie Ponce. Oh yeah, he was. He could post him up. <laughs> yes, he could. Bus lifts one out toward left center. Jake Smolinski moving over. Puts it away. One down. Smolinski busy again today in left field. That's a fourth fly ball out his way in this game. Batting in the eighth position. There's Shane Robinson, starting center fielder today, activated off the disabled list, right into the starting lineup. One eighty one average, a couple of doubles, a home run at seven. Runs batted in. We'll take a strike. Shane missed uh, 22 games with a right hip flexor. Happened on August the 12th in Cleveland. 0 and 2. <laughs> Billy Epler talking to the media saying that uh, not expecting any other call ups between now and the end of the season. That includes uh, Johnny J. Tella and Tim Linscombe. Linscombe last time out at Triple A threw the ball well. Had been sick for a while. Went seven innings. One ball, two strikes. I can understand the reasoning behind something like that, especially when you've got a known commodity in Tim Linscombe. You've seen him at the major league level. You've watched him at. Your own Triple A club. And you're in that evaluation process over the next three plus weeks. There have been a lot of guys claimed by the Angels that you want to take a look at. You want to take a look at Meyer. Daniel Wright's going to get the start on Saturday or Sunday this weekend. This is popped up in the part of the infield. Healy calls everybody off, makes a catch two down. So I can understand all the reasoning for not wanting yep. to bring up someone like Tim. So that you have an idea of going into the offseason of what your 40 man roster is. Is going to look like. I was watching Daniel Wright today throw his bullpen. You mentioned getting that start on Saturday. I had a chance to have a quick conversation. Went real excited about that opportunity to start. Had been the starter, so he's able to stretch it out as far as pitch count for Mike Sosha. Waiver claim from the Reds. Meanwhile, Jarrell Cotton has faced eight. He's retired all eight. This is Rafael Ortega. Take a 217 average. That's five doubles, a home run, and nine RBIs. Well, he 
even though Cotton came from the Dodger organization, he's already adopted that Oakland A's pitching philosophy as far as staying right on that pitching rubber, pitching inside, and having that great changeup to go along with your fastball and breaking ball. Popped up. Third base side yeah, Healy in the foul territory. Cotton has faced nine. He's retired all nine. We head to the bottom of the third with no score. Champions worlds collide when one of the best pound for pound fighters in Japan takes on an explosive South African warrior who will move on to the next round. Find out on an all new The Ultimate Fighter tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on FS1. Alex Meyer got into a little trouble with two outs in the uh, second inning, but got out of it. Getting Ivner to ground down. He'll face nine, one, and two here in the third. And it was an odd. Uh, Kind of a situation for Meyer. Retired five straight, including three consecutive strikeouts, and all of a sudden, back to back walks to Healy and Muncie. And then fell behind 2 0 on Ivner before getting the ground down. Wendell takes inside. Evens accounted a ball and a strike on the A's second baseman. Three for 14 at the major league level. Two RBIs last night. As a matter of fact, all three. Big league RBIs for Wendell have come in the series. One on Monday, two yesterday. Two and one. And just trying to control that movement on his fastball. At times, it's been not as easy for Alex Meyer, but you can see. The velocity and the movement, if you can just keep that close to the strike zone, get some easier swings. You got to almost start at the middle of the plate and then trust movement. And when you start it on the corner like that, and then with that movement, it's impossible to get the hitter to swing and or the umpire to call it a strike. And a walk to start the third. Now it's time for Honda helpful moment. Jake Smolinski, very good in left field today. Come diving in on that baseball, slip it off the glove, but controls it with his body. Back in the first inning, playing some solid D for the youngster Cotton on the mound. When you have that defense behind you, you're going to be more aggressive. And Smolinski has been busy in left field today. Jake Smoliski grounded out sharply to Jeffrey Marte in the first. He's 0 for 1.
Oakland not running as much this year, but with a six foot nine pitcher, you might see Wendell going here early. Bandy's been very good as far as throwing out base runners this year over 40% at 42% this season. Big lead for Wendell at first. Monsi, or pardon me, uh, Smoliski takes low. Wendell had 14 stolen bases at Triple A Nashville, caught four times. Not a burner by any stretch, total of 45 stolen bases, parts of five minor league seasons. He certainly does not waste any time getting out to that big lead either. Caught the inside corner. Meyer, a lot of pitches that lower part of the strike zone. Generally, when you're when you're facing a, a pitcher that's lower part of the strike zone, you're more apt to put a hit and run on. Looks fairly quick to the plate. Doesn't hurt when you're throwing 95 to 98 either. No doubt. <laughs> Little tapper foul. Cal range at one or two. 40 pitches now throw by Alex. Extended in that second inning with the walks. Wendell over at first base will lead off walk to start this third inning. Another foul. It's hard to imagine a guy like Alex Meyer growing up in the state of Indiana at six feet nine inches tall. Not playing basketball for the Hoosiers and to boot going Coach. to the University of Kentucky. Yeah, he had to a play baseball. Nice uh, few words to say about that on the pregame show today. Yeah, he got some grief with some family members back in Indiana. Played basketball and baseball high school in Indiana. Decides to go to Kentucky. And why wouldn't you if you're from Indiana? Yeah. This one's out toward left field. Nick Boss moving back on it. Stepping out of the track puts it away. One down. Yeah, Alex uh, voted Mr. Baseball in the state of Indiana at high school after a senior year. One out, one on. Marcus Semi of the shortstop at the plate. He had a fly ball to right in the first. Marcus. Shift on. Coward toward the middle of the infield. Big hole on the right side. Missed it. Bit bigger lead. Myers done a nice job as far as holding the baseball. <laughs> Wendell's on the move. The throw down to second on the shortstop side, and Wendell picks up a stolen base. And he did go on the swing. Pretty good jump. 
And then Simeon's going to be called a, for swinging on that one. A little bit on the shortstop side of the base. Wendell was able to pick up the stolen base first of the season. First of his big league career. To man of scoring position for the second consecutive inning for Oakland. One ball, one strike. Should be one ball, one strike. Two and one. One. Last time out in Triple A, no walks for Alex Meyer. Three punch outs, three walks so far today. <laughs> Seven takes a strike, full count. Definitely getting that outside part of the plate. Big lead for Wendell at second. Payoff pitch. This is pulled toward third and is foul. Broke his bat. Yeah, fastball had some good movement at 96. Off the plate in. That's straight up shattered. And we talked about before with Simmons. He likes that fastball on the inside part of the play with that type of movement, though, in 96. Do you see how low that bat broke? It's like right above the, the top hand. Like I need a Dyson to pick up the pieces there around the dirt. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Calvert made three two. There's movement and then there's 96 mile an hour movement. Yeah. And then Buckle you drop the that in there. Knuckle curve. Wow. Two down. Strikeout number four. You're still trying to get the feeling back in your hands after a 96 mile an hour fastball, and then he drops a knuckle curve. The call third strike. It's the third called strike of the four strikeouts in the game for Alex Meyer. Yeah, the uh, first one was on Chris Davis on the slider. Alonzo and Simeon both on that curveball. So Wendell still in second, two down. Here's Vote who struck out swinging in the first inning. Vote catching back to back days. And a day game after a night game. Very quick night game last night, that's why. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah. There's 1 0. Two balls, no strikes. Scoreless here in the third with two outs. Wendell lead off walk and a stolen base. Three and out. Got to be careful right now if you're Meyer with vote. If we have the green light here. So two on, two outs. Chris Davis coming to the plate. 
There comes Charles Nagy for his first visit. Yeah, I think the first thing he's going to just really talk to him about is just try to stay away from flying wide open here. With that front shoulder just starts flying open immediately before he gets to the release point. That's why it's very difficult to throw a pitch anywhere near the strike zone. That shoulder was flying, that front shoulder flying wide open before he even got in position to get into that arm slot. He'll throw it in the strike zone. Eight pitch first inning, then 23 in the second, 23 so far here in his third inning of work. I said, mentioned earlier about 70, 75 pitches be his limit today. Davis struck out looking as the leadoff man of the second. Alex Meyer, four strikeouts, four walks. He has two men on for the second straight inning via the walk. Outfield straight around. Davis swings the first one and fouls it off. Keep a look at it. Okay. Taylor will start to get action going. 55 pitches now for Meyer. Jose Alvarez, first man up, the left hander. The exact same spot he got a call third strike against Davis, his first at bat. Oh, two called strike three, got him again. And for the second straight inning, the A's leave two men on. Three complete, still scoreless. Neither side has uh, allowed a hit. The only base runners have been courtesy of the walks by Alex Meyer. Other than that, uh, nothing but zeros. And uh, even better for Jarrell Khan, who's faced nine batters. He's retired all nine, making his major league debut. He'll face the top of the order now. Simmons, Calhoun, and Crone here in the fourth. Angleton hit a fly ball to left field in the first inning. He's 0 for 1. Pretty good feel for that cut fastball for Cotton. Who came within one out of a perfect game. Triple A for Nashville back on August 9th. You know, a triple with two outs. Hey, 
12 strikeouts that night. Ahead of the count and no balls, two strikes. He has one strikeout with no walks. That's letting the baseball travel deep in the strike zone, isn't it? That's one way to look at it. <laughs> Just to try to stay alive in that at bat. <laughs> I would say he was completely fooled. <laughs> Tracking the baseball. Yeah, way. sure. That's another way of putting it. 0 oh, 2. Upstairs the fastball. It's live past Simeon. And there's the first base run of the game. She had to sneak a fastball with two strikes. And the Hyundai key for this game, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. It certainly broke up that perfect game going for Cotton. After that break of all the pitch before, Simmons stayed back and lined that one into left field for a single, first base runner of the game against Cotton. Totally a much better performance so far by Jarrell Cotton in his big league debut than Roll of Cantra two days ago. Well, Cantra just struggled with command right from the get go, especially after he hit Trout in that first inning. Three batters hit in the first yeah. inning. Yeah, kind of snowballed for him. Goal a fly ball to left field. A play that Smolinski had to dive for, and the Angels challenged the call. The call was upheld. The Angels out of challenges. <laughs> 0 2 count. Simmons, five stolen bases in six attempts. Especially on a no two count, maybe anticipating a break a ball or change up in the dirt. Long look over for vote to Bob Melvin. A lot of times a manager likes to put a pitch out on 0 2. Simmons on the move again, a big jump, no throw. Angels get their first man into scoring position. Calhoun with a one-two count. Guessing all speed. Got it. Easily slides in there to second base for a sixth stolen base of the season. Signs, physical signs between Vote and Cotton with the man at second base. Change of missing load. Two balls, two strikes. CJ Crow on deck. The Angels, of course, not starting Trout or Pools today. And the opportunity to make two days off. Both are available. Mike Sosha sees fit. And as the norm, those two talking on the bench. This was lined towards short. Simeon has it, but nobody covered the base here. So Simmons fortunately gets back. One down. Well struck by Cole, but right to Marcus Simeon. And Cole hit the ball hard twice today. Nothing to show for it. Smolenski made a nice play diving in front of him in left field, and that line drive rated shortstop. Now batting, number 24, CJ Crone. So here's Crone. Skied one to left to end the first inning. Jay may get a change up first pitch. He can sit on, especially if it's a lower part of the strike zone. So that's his swing path. Gets one, yanks it foul. No one count. <laughs> the 
nice. Especially with Mom of the cast. What a one. Tim is standing at second base, a single and a stolen base. First hit allowed by Cotton. Dribbler off the plate. One and two. Cotton's done a pretty good job of never throwing anything towards the middle of the plate so far. Either that fastball running in or change up, break a ball away and down. Barry Bonds and Pedro Martinez. Like Pedro's changeup. Just inside, 2 2. And could pitch inside pretty well. Real well. Pedro's changeup was unbelievable. He can almost tell you, hey, I'm going to throw a changeup. You could try to stay back on it. Still couldn't do it. Thought about going that pitch behind CJ Crow. Now full count. That was a changeup. Almost hit the back. Almost, yeah, I was gonna say almost hit the back. <laughs> Cotton wearing Pedro's 45. Simmons is really trying to time Cotton as far as his look back to second. Feels like he wants to try to steal third base. Popped up. Change up. Crone slams the bat down. Healy dealing with that sunshine still puts it away for number two. So Simmons remains at second base. And Jeffrey Marte will come up. Now batting. Number 19, Jeffrey Barte. Barte popped down in the second. That's through the first one. Both starters, both young starters. Very deliberate, slowing things down with base runners. Looks like Meyer will come back out to start the bottom of the fourth. One thing you don't want to do as a pitcher, especially a young pitcher, is really Pay so much attention to Simmons in second. There's two outs. Your goal and focus should be on the hitter, especially one with a quick bat like Marte, who's got 12 home runs and 10 doubles. No balls, two strikes now. But credit Simmons for distracting him. Yeah. And his focus on him instead of the batter. Retired the first nine to start the game. We have the single to Simmons. He's retired the last two. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Wrecking ball got him, and Marte goes down. Looking second strike down for Cotton. We'll have the bottom of the fourth, still scoreless.
two pitchers. Meyer on the left, Cotton on the right. Both very good as far as balance over the pitching rubber drive towards the plate. But look at the different arm angles. Lower arm angle for Meyer, upper more over straight over the top for Cotton. Both with that good stride, and they end up in the same one with the same exact spot as far as landing and falling towards that first base side. But it's the arm angle, the difference, obviously the height also. And that's why you'll see the movement on the two seam and four seam fastball more so with Meyer than Cotton. Cotton with that very good change up because of that arm angle he throws at. Short leash for uh, Alex Meyer here in the bottom of the fourth inning as Jose Alvarez back up and loosening in the Angels' bullpen. Five strikeouts, four walks. He's not allowed to hit. He'll face Alonzo, Healy, and Muncie here in the fourth. Alex at 57 pitches. The 58th is off the plate. First pitch strikes have been the not easy today for Alex Meyer. And his five of 14 batters faced. But he's not missing by a lot. Right. In lower part of the strike zone, just off the corner. That's why I think it's going to be important for catchers. They're going to catch Meyer the rest of the year. Kind of stay towards the middle of the plate. Trust that movement. Just make adjustments with your glove as a catcher, not moving your whole body to a spot on the plate unless you're ahead of the count. Alonzo fouls it back and it's one and two. A's first baseman struck out looking at the second. Four of the five strikeouts for Alex Meyer have been the looking variety. All on good breaking balls. The only swinging strikeout he had was vote to the first and that was a pretty good live fastball. Almost got Alonzo to swing at that hard slider down and in. Now that should be an effective pitch for him as he goes along. It was a two seam fastball running away. Against a left handed batter, and then run that slider down and in. Get him to swing over top of it. Full count. Albert is ready to go. Drives it out to right center field to base. It'll go to the wall. One hop off the fence. And it'll be a leadoff double for the A's first baseman. Twenty-fifth double of the season for Alonzo. And Alonzo sitting fastball, even though this is 96 lower part of the strike zone. He's sitting on it because he sees it. Myers on his last two pitches on the break ball. Couldn't throw it for a strike. Sitting back, lines out when the right center field. For his 25th double. Maybe Second. one more hitter, I think, for Alex Meyer. Second straight inning that the uh, leadoff man has reached. Oakland has stranded four base runners, two each in the last two innings. Healy worked a walk with two outs in the second. So no official at bat for him. Proud of Crespi Carmelite, University of Oregon. Third round pick, getting a lot of action over at third base. Danny Valencia's bounced around. He's played right field the first two games of the series, but Valencia getting the afternoon off. Right after him with a fastball. That had some serious movement. 96. Almost like that fastball he threw the Simeon. A 
Hey, go back upstairs, don't you? Got to try it because he's going to look away for a breaking ball here. Here's the one, two. Late on that one. Muncy is the man on deck. Alvarez just looking on in the Angels' pen. This popped up. Playable for Crow. One down. Mike Sosha's coming out, and it looks like that's going to be it for uh, Alex Meyer in his Angels' debut. Going three and a third, allowing one hit. Walking four, striking out five. He'll depart here with a man at second base and one out. Jose Alvarez coming on a relief. We are scoreless at the Coliseum here at the bottom of the fourth. The third, one hit, four strikeouts, pardon me, five strikeouts, four walks. And he departs with a man at second base. It's our in and out, who's in, who's out. Jose Alvarez takes over on the mound for Alex with a man at second base. And one out. Jose pitching in his 56th game. One and two mark at a 3.51 ERA. He's going to face the left hand hitting Max Muncy, the right fielder. Who worked a walk in the second. Next. First one's down low. Alvarez pitched in the, uh, or has not pitched in the series since uh, Seattle. A chance to uh, pick up a couple of innings here. One ball and strike. Bullpen game for the Angels with the. Uh, Myers start today. Little flare out the shallow left field. Nick Bus comes in. He'll play down the hop. Being waved around as Alonzo. The throw to the plate. A good one. And Bandy drops the ball as he went to apply the tag. Alonzo scores, and it's 1 nothing Oakland. Single for Muncy picks up his eighth RBI. What a real good throw from Bus who charged it well. But as he tried to be able to scoop that ball, that little short hop for Bandy. 
Alonzo is able to have that slide across as he could not control the baseball as Oakland gets the first run of the game. Muncy taking second on the throw. Here's Brett Eibner. 0 for 1 as he grounded out in the second. Takes inside corner for strike. Looks like he was in a little bit. Meyer gets charged with that run, so the book closed on him. One run and three to third. And that shot to right field. And that's going to get down and go to the wall. Monsey in the score. Ivner on his way to second. RBI double makes it 2 nothing Oakland. So Alvarez has come on a relief here. Jits a retire batter. Back to back hits. And that fastball about thigh high out over the plate. Ivner did a nice job of staying back and driving that ball. To right center field, seven double, 15th RBI of the season. Ninth place hitter and second baseman, Joey Wendell up. A walk and a stolen base for him last inning. Nowhere near the zone, and it's 2 0. Oh. 2 0 Oakland in the fourth. Beat Cincinnati earlier today, six to three. Another action. Tampa Bay ended up beating Baltimore seven to six. Now in a, the drop at St. Pete. Tigers and the White Sox tied at three. That game's in the seventh. Everything else at night. Two or two. Yeah, up to win another home run for the Tigers. Been on a roll, had he? He got those three days off in a row just to clear his mind, and he's been crushing the baseball since. Two two. Down goes Wendell. Two outs. Good off speed pitch. A nice job as far as keeping that front shoulder in. A little change up. You don't see that a whole lot. For a left handed pitcher to throw the change up to a left handed batter, although I think that is a very, very effective pitch against a left handed batter from a lefty. Because you're always tracking something away, whether it's a fastball or a breaking ball. Ground ball over to third. Marte has it. And Smoliski retired for the third out. But Oakland strikes for two runs on three hits. We head to the fifth. And the Halos are down 2 0.
Fox Sports West is brought to you by Subaru. Make the world a better place. That's why we donate to causes we care about. By El Pollo Loco, new chicken tenders. Try them today at El Pollo Loco. And by the three-row 2016 Mazda CX-9. Oakland with a 2-0 lead as we start the fifth. There's Mount Diablo in the distance. There's a gorgeous afternoon, a warm afternoon here in Northern California. Halo is trying to pick up the rubber game of the series before heading back home for a 10-game homestand beginning Friday night. Jeff Bandy to lead things off here. Drell Cotton has allowed one base runner, and that was a single to Anderson Simmons. Last inning. Simmons stranded at second base. Jet 0 for 1. Come back or toward the mound. He'll take ball one. One ball, one strike. Yeah. It's popped up. Alonzo down the line in foul territory. One down. I get your red on as the Angels take on the Texas Rangers on Sunday at 1235. Fans in attendance that day will receive a patriotic baseball cap courtesy of Chronic Tacos. While supplies last, visit angels.com slash promotions. Now batting. Take us today. Number 22, Caleb Carr. He's ready to go. Lefty. Teach him to change up. Coward rolls it foul. Right for your left handed yeah. kid. First pick. Learn how to turn it over. Second best pitch in baseball behind the fastball, the changeup. Caleb's 0 for 1. He popped out, or pardon me, struck out it. His first time up. And he just popped out. Good fastball. I'll tell you what, uh, Joel Cotton has been as advertised, Gooby, through four plus innings. Very confident young man, under control. Throws a lot of strikes. Yep. Doesn't waste time. Stands right on that pitching mound. Aggressive. Caleb goes down swinging for the second time. Two outs. And with that plus changeup he has. Very difficult to sit fastball because you look at fastball and then he drops that changeup on you. It's 77. Halos have action in their bullpen with uh, Jolice Chassin getting ready. So he'll take over in the uh, bottom of the fifth. Nick Buss a fly ball to left field in the third inning. 0 for 1. Two balls, no strikes. I would imagine, too, as a 24 year old making your big league debut. You look at the lineup across the way, and there isn't a future Hall of Famer or a guy who's arguably the best player in the game not in the lineup. Kind of makes you uh, less anxious, I would imagine. Yeah, it likes, lets you, allows you to breathe a little easier when you make that debut. Still got to go out and perform. Yes. He's done that. He's thrown strikes. He hasn't looked erratic. He looks like he's kept his adrenaline in check, which I'm sure is something that uh, can get out of whack, especially in this ballpark where you warm up one way yes and then you come out major 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 league debut and you're facing the other way yeah it's completely different you know a lot of times especially the wind currents here in the stadium when it's going you're throwing one way then completely the opposite way when you go into the game now three balls one strike Needed to get back into account, he's been able to throw whatever it is to get back into that count. I think it's impressed me so far. He's not afraid to throw his changeup or his breaking ball. No. Regardless in, of the count. In these counts right now, I would not be surprised if he threw a changeup. There's a payoff pitch. 
gets a fastball he walks him. Almost like he tried to hump up a little bit on that fastball. Now the way he threw that fastball that was exactly the way Tom Gordon used to really drive towards the plate from that pitching rubber over the top. Well the fastball good velocity on that one too at 92. It was a borderline pitch too. Didn't miss by much. It's a first walk issued by Cotton to go with the one single. And Shane Robinson up he popped out. In his first plate appearance. Shane pops it up to shallow right. Wendell, the second baseman, backpedaling out. And Halos are down here in the fifth. Wendell, the bottom of the fifth. Looks like we're going to get a new pitcher with Oakland up 2 0. Those two runs in the fourth inning, one off Alex Meyer, the other off Jose Alvarez as Jolie Chassin takes over to start this fifth inning. Five and eight mark of 562 ERA. Pitch better out of the bullpen for the Angels. He gets two, three, and four for Oakland here in the fifth. Simeon, Vote, and Davis. Demi at 0 for 2. A fly ball to right and a strikeout looking. This is lined out to left center field. A base hit. Bus over to cut it off. Does so. And it's a leadoff single. So make that three straight innings in which the A's have had their leadoff man reach. And here comes Steven Boat. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Vote so far a strikeout in the first and a walk in the third. Oakland with four hits, the Angels with one. All four hits in the last inning plus for Oakland. Alvarez ended up going two thirds of an inning, two hits, one strikeout, one run. Alex Meyer made his Angels debut, went three and a third, gave up a run on one hit, walked four while striking out five. And overall, he hasn't really pitched a whole lot. Right. So you kind of can expect him to be. Inconsistent with the strike zone, but overall his stuff, fastball was moving a lot. Break ball pretty solid also. And when it comes down to for Alex Myers is trusting the movement in the fastball, start middle of the plate, and 
using that movement to get some quick outs and then expand the zone. Three balls, no strikes. Downing for Shasin on the second at Seattle. And a walk to the first two of Reach to start the fifth. An outing at Seattle for Shasin did not go well. Four innings, five runs. Seven hits, walk three, struck out one. In trouble to start this fifth inning. A single, and now a walk, and here's Chris Davis. Davis over two. Has struck out twice, both looking. One hopping into the glove of Jet Bandy. And that was a fastball. Surprising a lot of times when you see a pitch in the dirt like that, it's going to be a breaking ball. Two balls, no strikes. Single by Simeon, the walk to vote. Two runs coming across for Oakland in the fourth inning on three hits. Three one count. Any chance at all, just keep gifting base runners fall behind, especially for a team that this team, this Oakland A's team, has been very aggressive swinging, especially early in counts. Davis fouls it off, full count. Here's a 3 2. Davis draws a walk in the road. Six walks issued by Angels pitchers today. Nobody out. Yonder Lonzo up. Alonzo one for two with a double and a run score in his last at bat. He started off the fourth inning with that double. One and only hit allowed by Meyer. Infield back at double play depth. Simeon over at third, voted second, Davis at first. She sees all over the map. numbers as far as walks as a team used to be Oakland always at the top 
Only Kansas City has less walks as a team. 334, the A's coming in this game, 352. Well, if Mike Sochi was hoping that you see him, but get him a couple of innings. Certainly not starting off the way you would like. Just like last at bat for Alonso, put himself in a situation to look for fastball. Got one on a 3 2 pitch and lined a double right center field off Alex Meyer. The only hit that Meyer had allowed. Two and one. Alonzo rips one to right of base in. One run for sure will score. Vogue will end up at third. And they will remain loaded. It's 3 0 now. On a fastball. Second hit of the game for Alonzo after striking out. Looking his first at bat. Charles Nagy going to go to the mound now. He missed location that fastball bandy setting up on the outside corner that runs the middle of the plate hitters always want to put themselves in the fastball counts Alonzo's done that in back-to-back -back at bats Brett Oberholz are getting ready and Brett had issues of his own in his last outing as far as command and that's been a big topic today inconsistency within the strike zone Quick visit by Charles Nagy. Ryan Healy coming up. Nobody out. Base is still loaded. Voted third. Davis at second. And Alonzo at first base. Healy with a walk and a pop up. One ball, one strike. Healy <laughs> fouls it back. One and two now. Into the count now, looking for a punch out. One, two, got him. First down of the inning is recorded. See the target set by Manny. That's a slider that stayed upstairs. Kind of got away with it. One of his backup sliders. There's Monsey with the bases loaded. One out. 3 0 Oakland. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Monty with a walk and a single. Picked up an RBI and a run score in the fourth. Has he thrown one first pitch strike this inning? And he's missed quite a bit. That's unusual. 
for Joe Lee. He's very consistent, especially out of the bullpen as far as throwing strikes. Told the uh, one first pitch strike so far. Two balls, no strikes. RBI for Monsi in the fourth inning, his eighth of the season. Our top tier play brought to you by Arco. He's able to fight that one in the left field, scoring Alonzo, who had doubled with the first run of the game. Must put a nice throw to the plate. Short hop. Man, he was unable to scoop that one up. As Alonzo scores the first run of the game. Oakland L up now 3 0 here in the bottom of the fifth. Two balls, two strikes. Steven Vogt at third base, Chris Davis at second, Yonder Alonso over at first base. No place to put Max Muncy. Three nothing A's here in the fifth. Looking for that double play and limit this to just one run. That's a W if you can get that. 2 2 again. Called strike three down goes Muncie, two outs. 92 mile an hour fastball, lower part of the strike zone. For Shasheen to get a strikeout, back to back punch outs. Muncie looking off speed, got a fastball instead. So back to back strikeouts, two outs, and here's Brett Eibner, starting center fielder today. Had an RBI double to the alley in right center field last inning. Seventh double, 15th run batted in. No balls and a strike. Foul ball off a jet bandy. This was down the right field line. Could be trouble. Long run for it. Take it to the corner and it goes foul. Nice effort by Rafi. That ball just kept slicing away from him. And an 0-2 count. Hope we'll to see more Ortega. He can play a number of outfield positions very well. Good effort to try to get to that baseball. Six outfield assists. The season for Ortega. It's his second career start in right field. He's played center, played left. Breaking balls popped up on the infield. She's seen calling for it. Gets called off by Crone, and the inning comes to an end. They get out of it with just allowing one run. Three nothing Oakland as we head to the sixth.
coverage of baseball on this Roberto Clemente day. Finished with exactly 3,000 hits, 15-time All-Star, four batting titles, 12 straight gold gloves, one of the best throwing arms, and also MVP, 1971 World Series. Clemente had unbelievable play coverage, good power, great speed, and outstanding defender with one of the most accurate, strong throwing arms you're gonna ever have seen in that right field position, Roberto Clemente. We even had theme music to match the era. Yes. I liked it. Big doors like it sounded like. <laughs> Three nothing as we start the sixth inning. Ortega, Simmons, and Calhoun. Nine one and two for the Angels. Facing Jarrell Cotton, the 24 year old, in his big league debut. He's walked one and allowed one hit. He's picked up three strikeouts. One and one. Or take a pop down to Healy in the third. Healy's been busy. Three pop ups. As a matter of fact, Alonzo's caught one. And Wendell has caught one as well. Twice, as a matter of fact, for Wendell. High fastball, one and two. That's when you know you got a pretty good change. We talk about yeah. Weaver all the time, right? A lot of hitters out in front of the change up, a lot of pop ups, a lot of fly ball outs. 11 of them outs in the air for Cotton today. Figure with that high fastball, we come back with this changeup now. Two two. Down it in. Full count. Anderson Simmons on deck. Picked up the only hit of the game against Cotton. Liner in the left field. I see me in it short. There's 3 2. Ortega fouls it off. Dodging a couple of bullets in that uh, bottom of the fifth. Oh, he just one run. The way that inning started. We'll take it again. Fouls it off to the looper. Battle here between Ortega and Cotton. Strike to sixth. And there's a walk to start the inning. Second free pass issued by the right hander. Yeah, solid at bat for Ortega. Put off some tough pitches, laid off that high fastball. Top of the order now, Andrew Simmons coming up. Now batting, number two, Andrew Simmons. Second game in which he has batted in that leadoff spot. Is also bad in the cleanup spot this season. One for two of the base hit in the fourth. Also picked up a stolen base. A lot of room on that right side of the infield for Simmons, who hits the ball very well that way.
Cotton adhering to the, uh, the A's way of doing things on the mound. Doesn't uh, mess around, doesn't walk around. It's the baseball and gets right on there and goes. Renicky going through the signs. Oakland was anticipating potentially hit and run with a throw over the first base. One one ground ball to third. Healy to Wendell. To Alonzo. It's a double play. Two down. So base is clear now for Cole. Yeah, Healy got rid of that quickly over to Wendell and completed a 5 4 3 double play very well. Cole over two. Five ball to left and a line out to Simeon. Takes ball one. One window way out in that outfield grass, right around the 25 yard line. With the shift on for Cole Calhoun. Overholds her back up and loosening once again. Looks like he'll pitch the bottom of the sixth. Nothing easy for the Angels this afternoon on the pitching side. Overholds would be the uh, fourth pitcher used. 2 0. Cole oh, fouls it off to it one. Hit into the shift, backhanded by Wendell. And the 30 yard line throws out Calhoun, and the Angels are done here. The sixth, it's 3 0 Oakland as we head to the bottom of the inning. The Angels trailing at three nothing in the rubber game of the series. Last outing for him was Friday. 
could not get out of the second inning. Gave up five runs in that one. Three walks and two strikeouts. It takes over for Jolie Chassin. And a mixed bag for uh, Chassin. One inning, two hits, two strikeouts, two walks, and a run allowed. Face seven batters. Oberholzer will face nine, one, and two for Oakland here in the sixth. Joey Wendell leading things off. First pitch swinging late on the fastball. It's an 0-1 count. Wendell with a walk, a stolen base, and a strike. Gouts, he's 0 for 1. Wendell coming over a couple of years ago in exchange for Brandon Moss. He was with the Cleveland Indians. The team that originally drafted him as he shoots this one toward the hole. That's a base hit. Pretty good piece of hitting. And the leadoff man is on board for the fourth straight inning for Oakland. When you talk about letting the baseball travel deeper in the strike zone, Wendell did that. It's a left handed pitcher going the other way. Fastball, pretty good pitch. Stayed back on the well. You see how far that baseball traveled deep in the strike zone. Base hit in the between short and third. Smolenski's 0 for 3. A couple of ground outs to third and a fly ball to left. Two balls, no strikes. Been a long afternoon on the pitching side. It's still just a three nothing deficit for the Angels. Smolenski fouls it off. It's two and one. Alex Meyer made his Angels debut. A little bit of everything with five strikeouts and four walks and three and a third. One hit, one run. Alvarez gave up a run in two thirds of an inning on two hits. I mentioned Chassin giving up a run. A couple of walks and two hits. Good off speed pitch, two and two. Out of the reach for Long run for CJ Crow. Not going to get there. If they're holding Wendell at first, has to go back on that pop up. Not an easy play for any first baseman. And starting out at that 30 yard line at first base and working his way to that 10 yard line, but a little bit too far for him. Short lead for Wendell at first. Picked up his first big league stolen base a couple of innings ago. Smolenski shoots it down the line, slicing foul. By the way, when Wendell faced Oberholzer, both born in Delaware. I mean, I wouldn't see that too often. Bolesky pops it up, first base side, Bandy and Crow coming toward the dugout, and they'll run out of room. Landing next to a uh, 
Jeff Samarja jersey down there. Got a Bobby Higginson yes. signing earlier today. Because why wouldn't you? Especially here in Oakland. Yeah. Tiger jersey. He pulls one through the left side of base hit to Oakland once again with a couple of base runners on board to start the inning. Now batting shortstop, number 10, Marcus So the first two have reached against Oberholzer via the single. And here's Marcus Simeon. Jimmy had one for three, a single with a run scored in the fifth. Simeon skies went out toward right center. Ortega moving in, puts it away for the out. We'll take down one pitch out. Here comes Steven Vogt, a little lefty lefty action. him very well this season's 188 batting average for both against the Angels. Oh, well, for one with a couple of walks today. Boat shoots one down the left field line. That is going to get down and go foul. Real close to that yep. line, but just foul. Sliced away from the line. Again, pretty much every pitcher for the Angels today has fallen behind quite a bit. And all of a sudden, you put these hitters at 2 0s, 3 0s, 3 1 counts. What do you expect they're going to do yeah, they're just when you groove a fastball? Yeah, they're just sitting back for a fastball. We've talked about that over the years with this Oakland lineup. Even when they were playing a lot better baseball, they always tried to put themselves in the fastball counts, and they don't miss fastballs. Now, they have a tough time on breaking pitches and change ups. And when they're in that fastball counts, they are very effective. There's that changeup. Two or two. Wendell at second base, leadoff single. Smolinski at first, he had a single to left. Late on the fastball. So it's still a two ball, two strike count. <laughs> 
Full count. Chris Davis on deck. Three two. Vote fouls it off. They have helped out Oberholzer. Six walks, seven hits allowed. Still just a, a three nothing lead for Oakland. They've stranded eight base runners so far. They've got two on here. Another three, two at both. Fouls it off. Again, chase something out of the strike zone there. Right of Zuza Pacific. Long look in for Overholzer. Now he's ready. Vote makes it foul out in front of the off speed. Guy just ate it going down the steps, and he didn't get the baseball. Insult to injury. It's a big old hang with him. Vote <laughs> strikes out, two down. Put him on a changeup. Two really good changeups to vote from Oberholzer in that at bat. You get a swing and miss. So far out in front. Two outs, two on, and Davis at the plate. 0 for 2, two strikeouts and a walk. The only easy inning for the Angels today, the first for Alex Meyer. That's it. It's been a struggle the last five. Davis lifts one out toward left field, hit pretty well, but it's going to stay in the yard as Boss goes back to the track, puts it away. And somehow, miraculously, no damage here, Gooby. With a couple of more base runners. We'll head to the seventh. Angels down 3 0.
the National League Central leading Chicago Cubs collide with the Houston Astros. The action begins Saturday 9:30 a.m. Pacific on Fox or watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Some serious young talent on both those teams. The Astros getting hot again. They've won three in a row. This three games back of the wild card. Speaking of uh, young talent, Darrell Cotton, Major League debut has gone six scoreless. One hit allowed. And two walks. Three strikeouts. Yeah, 86 pitches thrown, 60 of them strikes. Very impressive for the youngster. Crone, Marte, and Bandy for the Angels here. First pitch strike. Yeah. CJ's 0 for 2. A fly ball to left and a pop up to third. The Angels uh, trying to figure out Cotton. Now at 87 pitches. Action beginning in the Oakland A's pen. 0 at 2. Topper foul. Type of swings we've seen so far today against Cotton. He's just uh, worked the north and south, east and west, off speed stuff. Yeah, his cut fastball has been solid. His curveball good. That changeup has been very, very good. And spotting his fastball. The composure is off the charts. Yep. Two balls, two strikes. And because he's been able to pitch inside enough. It's really set up as all speed pitches, but he's also backed up a fastball in with another fastball in. It all comes down to being under control. That one bounced maybe, in the yeah, grass. Maybe not quite that one. Yeah. I mean that's a. That'd be great in cricket. It's a pretty good frame job too. Try to bring that bound back in there, but yeah. to catch that one. <laughs> Full count. Changing the eye level, perhaps. <laughs> Go fastball upstairs now. <laughs> Here's the 3 2. Crow fouls it off. No, 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 no. Oh. That pitch early in the game is effective. Because that means in the batter's box, you're thinking, this guy has no idea where the baseball is going if you can hit the grass in front of home plate area. But he's already established he can throw a lot of strikes. Well, it takes some certain amount of skill to be able to throw it <laughs> into the grass and one hop it to the catcher. <laughs> oh. Marte on deck. I've seen Black Guerrero hit a few of those pitches before. Oh, yeah. Not dribblers either. No. Muscles. John Doolittle ready to go. Necessary. Crone drives one out to deep center field. This one has got a chance to get out of here. And off the glove, it seems like. Off of Eifner's glove and over the fence, a home run. Big fly number 16 for C.J. Crone and the Angels get on the board. It's 3-1. to one. Well, he was upset last at bat when he missed the pitch to drive. Well, this time he did drive one to center field. He got it out of the ballpark. 60-second RBI. When we talk about getting a pitch out in front, that was a little cut fastball. Ibner back to the wall, leaps up, and just off the end of his glove and over the wall. Got back there very well, timed his leap. But just off his glove and over the wall for a home run for CJ Crone. Kurt Young making the slow walk out there with Jeffrey Marte due up. Well, then to keep in mind is both Mike Trout and Albert Pujols in that dugout. 16th home run tied a 
Ties a career high set last year for C.J. Crone. And you know you're locked in. He was so upset that last inning where he missed the pitch to hit really far. This time did not as he hits one out the dead center field. Off speed for a strike on Marte. He's 0 for 2. A pop up and a strikeout. Eibner playing his first career game in center field. Almost made an outstanding play going back to the wall. But just off his glove for a home run for C.J. Crone. One ball, one strike. Ryan Dole has joined Sean Doolittle in the uh, A's pen. So righty and a lefty. Two balls, one strike. Dribbler toward third, that goes foul. It's Mike Trout. Off with CJ Crone. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here the seventh. Lead off home run for C.J. Crone. 62nd RBI. And Marte, this one down the left field line. Smolinski into foul territory and runs out of room. Banks into that wall. Played it off well, as if he was running back out to left field. Trying to get to the wall, leap up. <laughs> Not a lot of forgiveness in that wall. Arte broke his bat, needs a, a new piece of lumber. Just a lazy afternoon here in Oakland. Two balls, two strikes. Caught now at 100 pitches. <laughs> 69 of them strikes for Cotton. Very good percentage in the strike zone. That's what all his pitches. Full count. Jet Bandy on deck. Potentially his last batter here. There's a 3 2. Marte pops it up. Healy once again in the foul territory. Been busy today. One down. It's a red on to join us Sunday, September 18th at 1235 for Salute to Kids Day. Kids in attendance will have the chance to win great prizes courtesy of OGO, San Diego Zoo, Safari Park, and Body Armor Sports Drink. Just go to angel.com slash promotions to get your tickets today. Jarrell Cotton's afternoon in his Major League debut has come to an end after six and a third, giving up a run on two hits, striking out three, and walking two, and he'll depart to a nice round of applause, and he'll also depart with a 3-1 lead.
three strikeouts, two walks. The only run on the uh, home run that was nearly caught by Brett Eibner, and that was off the bat of C.J. Krohn. So with one out, nobody on. Ryan Dole takes over, the right-hander. He's got Bandy and Coward due up here with one out here in the seventh. 62nd game for Dole, five and four mark, and a 2.32 ERA. Very impressive though by Cotton. You think about it, 102 pitches thrown, 70 strikes. This 32 out of the strike zone. There's two hits allowed. Day game here in this ballpark. Baseball carries very well. Great, great changeup. Command, Wallace pitches. Very, very solid. Jets 0 for 2 with a bouncer back to the mound and a pop up to Alonzo in foul territory. Fooled on that off speed pitch. No balls, two strikes. Jet will go down swinging, two outs. So here's Caleb. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts today. Dole not overpowering with his fastball. He's around 88 to 93 range slider. Change up. He pitches bigger than what he actually features. Yeah. If that makes any sense. His aggressiveness knocks you out there. He just comes right after you. Well, in the beginning part of the season, he was unbelievable as far as stranding and herded runners. At one point, stranded 36 straight. O2 count on Cowart. One or two. There's one, two. Caleb goes down swinging, and it's stretch time here at the Coliseum. The Angels get on the board on the Crone home run. It's three, one Oakland. C.J. Crone stayed back on that fastball. The one mistake of the game for Cotton. He hits out the center.
Uh, having some fun here on this uh, Wednesday afternoon. The Angels down by two in the rubber game of the series. It'll be Alonzo, Healy, and Muncy coming up against Brett Overholzer. C.J. Crone providing the only run on the board for the Angels, his 16th home run. So he remains uh, on a hot streak. Had his hit streak snapped yesterday, but uh, starting a new one today. Pretty impressive power numbers when you think about the amount of games he had missed. And that thumb injury. Down to Alonzo, two for three with a double and a single, an RBI and a run score. First one nowhere near the strike zone for Oberholzer. And it's one ball, no strikes. Ball and a strike. Fred working his uh, second inning of relief. A lot of pitches. 23 to be exact in the sixth inning. Get back to back singles, but then retired the next three in a row as this one's hit towards second. Caleb is there. One down. First time the leadoff man's been retired since the second inning. Ten base runners stranded for Oakland. So it's a, a good thing that the Angels are still just down by two. We've had plenty of opportunities, that's for sure. That is hammered out to deep left field, a towering shot. Boss will watch this one go. It's a solo home run. As they get that run back, Healy just hit his seventh of the season, and it's four to one A's. Yeah, you can see that power, that impressive power that Healy has. Seventh home run, 12 doubles. Given 19 extra base hits on the season. Got that foot down, fastball to the inner half of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Pretty high leg kick for Healy. This is 49th game. And she knows 19 extra base hits. Muncy looks at a strike. Right fielders one for two with a walk and an RBI single. Breaking ball misses. A's have Liam Hendricks getting ready. He'll pitch the eighth. The Angels in the bottom third of the order coming up in the bus, Robinson and Ortega. One ball, two strikes. This is uh, after the Healy home run ball. Oh, face plant wow. fiesta. <laughs> yeah. And to Victor. They made that look smooth. Yes. Said nobody. <laughs> Breaking balls low. Two balls, two strikes. Full count. Monty, a chopper to second. Two down. Two outs, nobody on, and Brett Eidner coming up. Eidner a one for three game. RBI doubled in the fourth inning. The seventh double, and his 15th run batted in. That was to the alley in right center.
No balls, two strikes. Oberholzer a little bit more aggressive this inning than he was in the sixth. A little touchy feely with the corners. Was his fastball when he can throw it for a strike really sets up his changeup, which is a good one. Oh, two. Ninety-nine two today, too, for Oberholzer. <laughs> One, two on the way to Ivor. He'll pull this one to left field. Two out base hit. Big turn and he'll stay at first. Throw back by Simmons. And not a time. So the seventh continues and it's Joey Wendell coming up. Wendell with a walk, a strikeout, and a single. One for two. Ground ball toward first, and it's off of Crone, and ricochets out to shallow center. Wendell trying to go to second to throw he is not in time. To call that an error on CJ, his fourth of the year. And tried to backhand that went off the body and into the outfield. Hit well though by Wendell. So two outs, runners at second and third. Jake Smolinski at the plate. One for four game for Smolinski. He'll sky this one on the left side of the infield. Jeffrey Marte backs up. And will squeeze it for the third out. Ryan Healy with a one out home run here. The seventh extends the A's lead to 4 1 as we get to the eighth.
fourth afternoon here in Oakland, but find themselves down four to one as we head to the top of the eighth inning. Ken French back with you. And don't forget, following the game is Angels Live, presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers, with myself and Jose Moda with all the highlights and interviews, but continue to see some young, enthusiastic Angels fans. This is Jordan hanging out with me right now. She's three years old. The family is actually from Orange County. They live in Vegas. They're just out here and happen to catch this game. Now, Jordan's a huge Mike Trout fan. As you can see, that's a Mike Trout doll. She's got Sharpie in hand. She's been yelling out Trouty throughout the course of this game, but uh, no luck yet. We're going to see if we can maybe get him to roll over here sooner or later, but uh, Jordan's having a good time, guys. Come on, Frenchie, help her out, man. <laughs> yeah, Frenchie, go. I only got so much pull, fellas. Just yell. Yell with her. Trout. <laughs> do it. Trout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 4-1 as we start the eighth. Liam Hendricks takes over on the mound. He'll face Buss, Robinson, and Ortega. 43rd game, 0 3 mark, and a 4 1 90 RA. This is the uh, second appearance for him in the series. Nick Buss, 0 for 1 with a fly ball to left, the walk. One defensive change for Oakland. Arismendi Alcantara takes over in center field. Brett Eibner moves from center over to right, so Max Muncy no longer in the game. Oh, two from Hendricks upstairs. Good live fastball. The Australian. And a lot of them. He will throw a lot of fastballs between him and Doolittle from the left side. Both these pitchers. A ton of fastballs. Balls, two strikes. Good swing by Nick. Handles with just two hits. A single by Angleton Simmons in the fourth inning. And a home run by Crone. Two base runners via the base on balls. Hendricks, by the way, taking over for Brian Dole, who went two thirds of an inning, picked up two strikeouts. He finished off the seventh. Usual lots of Angel fans here. Always right around the dugout area. This one down the line. Foul territory. Smolinski with a long run. Not going to get there. The battle continues. Ten pitches so far for Nick Buss. Smolinski had to go a way, long way. Healy. A long way from third base himself. Pitches. G Man Joyce come out to the on deck circle. The bat for Shane Robinson. <laughs> yeah, 
Hendricks continues to throw fastballs and bus keeps down them away. A lot of fastballs upstairs though. He's looking for a fastball lower part of the strike zone. Ground ball to second. Took 13 pitches, but Bus is retired to start the eighth. Follow Angels Baseball live with MLB.com at bat app. Stay up to the moment at any moment with game day, live game video highlights, stat cast news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. For Los Angeles, for Shane Robinson, so G Man Choi coming up. First plate appearance for uh, Choi since being recalled. One sixty seven average with the Angels this year. Takes a strike. <laughs> Jim Head didn't like that call. It's a priceless reaction. Off speed pitch. No balls, two strikes. The Halos have AJ Octor getting ready. Looks like he'll pitch the ninth. Or pardon me, the uh, the bottom of the eighth. 2, 3, and 4 coming up for Oakland. Choi goes down swinging. Two outs. Could not hold up. It looked like from our angle right here, he definitely crossed the plate. A couple of all speed pitches from Hendricks. Doesn't do that a whole lot. You got Choi to chase that one out of the strike zone. Ortega, the right fielder today, 0 for 1, popped out back in the third inning, walked. That was in the uh, sixth. Head of the count of two balls and no strikes. Two and one. Came right after him, didn't he? For the fastball. The upper part of the strike zone has been very effective. Elevating his fastball 95 96. Feels like he can catch up to it. Very difficult to do so. And another fastball upper part of the strike zone fouled off. Hendricks ready. Here comes another 2 2. Ortega pops it up. Shallow center field. Simeon going out. Alcantara, the center fielder, is there. And the Angels are done here in the eighth. We'll head to the bottom of the inning. Still 4 1 Oakland.
on top as you take a look at AJ Octor. He'll pitch the bottom of the eighth inning with Simeon Vote and Davis do up. 17 games, the record of 3.76 ERA, second appearance for him in the series. Couple of changes for the Angels. G Man Choi stays in the game. He's in left field. That moves Nick Buss over to right. Gregorio Petit takes over at shortstop. So Petit will go into a Simmons spot. Doctor will throw a two seam fastball. Good set sinking action on it. 993 ring slider changeup. When he's on his game, he's going to be getting a lot of ground ball outs. When he elevates like that one, that's when he runs into problems. Very good sinking fastball. Ortega, by the way, stays in the game. It is in uh, center field. Sammy had one for four with a single. Two, two. Got it goes. Bandy will throw down to first and complete the strikeout. One down. Stephen Vogt coming up. Fred Oberholzer went two innings. He gave up a run on four hits, including a home run to Healy. One strikeout, no walks. Vogt over two. It's this one to short. That's Petit. Two down. Chris Davis will step to the plate. 0 for 3 with a walk. Ryan Madsen getting ready for Oakland. The Angels have the top of their order coming up. Right now it's Petit, Calhoun, and Crone. Missed down at it. Bouncer foul. An off speed pitch for Octor. Especially knowing that Davis, very quick and strong on a fastball. There's the action going for uh, Oakland if the score remains. Figured it's Madsen coming on in the ninth. Two balls, one strike. Here's 3 1. And a two out walk. But the seventh walk. Yep, seven of them. 
It'll bring up Alonzo with two outs. He's had a two for four game with a single and a double. Lazo grounded out his last time up. We'll look at a strike. Four runs, nine hits for the Athletics today. The Angels with one run on two hits. Twelve left on base for the A's. This is hit up the middle, and that'll sneak through for a base hit. Davis will stop at second. So a two out rally for Oakland here in the eighth. So often you see that with that two out walk followed by a base hit right away. So Ryan Healy will come up. Octa retired the first two guys easily on a ground out, or pardon me, a strikeout on a ground out, then a walk to Davis, a single now. And he'll face Healy. Homer his last time up. He jumped on the first pitch from Oberholzer. In his seventh of the year, his 20th RBI. One for three games. Also picked up a walk. Takes a strike. Cued toward first. A lot of spin on it. Crone goes to first. Octor fortunately is covering, and we will head to the ninth with the Angels down four to one. Ninth with the Angels down by the score of four to one. Madsen came in yesterday with one inning and struck out two and picking up his 28th save of the season. Now pitching in his 57th game, five and four with a 3.02 ERA. Fastball has been very solid since going back to that closer roll. 91-95 cut fastball plus changeup for Madsen. Gregorio Petit will come up for his first plate appearance of the afternoon. Took over defensively for Simmons in the bottom of the eighth.
17 to 260 average through 73 games. A couple of home runs, 15 runs batted in, also 12 doubles on the year. No balls, two strikes. Speeds, which is the bread and butter for Madsen over the last couple of years. He's always had a real good feel for that pitch. And now that number 56, Cole Calhoun. Same exact arm angle as his fastball. He had a reading, thinking fastball, and instead he gets the changeup. Cole looks at a strike. Hitless today. Fly ball to left, the line out to short, and a ground ball to second. O2 count with Crone on deck. Not go. Almost got him to chase it. And that's the thing, you you can't sit on his changeup. There was a lot of them, but the fastball still very effective. Pretty good story when you think about how far Matson has come back from where he was when he was wearing even trying to come back as an angel. Like part of the Kansas City Royal team that won the World Series last year. Very solid as a closer. Cole lifts one out to center. Alcantara dealing with that sunshine is there. Two down. To the Halos, down to the last out. Took two or three from Seattle. One uh, Monday. And it had a 2 0 lead into the eighth last night. But dropped that one 3 2 and are down to the last here, out here this afternoon. Down 4 to 1. Crone, one for three. He homered in the seventh. Home run for CJ, his 16th, the RBI is 62nd. to second base. Wendell has it. And the A's take the final game of this three game set and pick up the series, Gooby. Today, the final four to one. And Jarrell Cotton was really the story for Oakland today in his major league debut. Picks up the victory going one and oh. Matza picks up his 29th save. Alex Myers, pretty solid on the mound, will end up losing the game falling to 0 and 2 as Oakland wins today four to one. Well, on 10 hits, four runs. But that story right there, right there, the youngster. Cotton picking up his first major league victory. The excitement there for him and in the stands. Stick around for Ken French and Jose Moore. They got it all. Break it on down on Angels Live here at postgame.